All right, guys, what's up? Christian here from CK Raps. I'm here with Tom from SJ Raps, and we're in Connecticut doing some training. We're on day four, so we're got an extra day in here, and uh, we're getting this Ford Raptor wrapped. No pun intended. <laughs> that was pretty lame. <laughs> uh, wrapped up in some vivid chrome. Uh, color is not disclosed yet, but it's pretty amazing that how it's turning out right now. It's changed the entire look and shape of the vehicle. We're going to get the pretty much the entire thing back together today. We're working on the small details. What we're doing right now is what I, and I want to show you is, I know a lot of people have questions about knifeless tape and how to go about applying knifeless tape. Uh, not so much applying, but where to apply it. I mean, applying it, you don't, as far as applying it goes, you don't want to stretch the knifeless tape. You want to lay it in and gently follow, gently follow it and smooth it out as you go along, as you're pulling it out off of the roll. So you don't want to stretch it, because if you stretch it, it will not hold, it'll pop right out. We were experiencing that already the other day uh, because we did inside the door jam area for trimming. That way when you open the doors, you have a nice straight line all the way down. To freehand that and get it straight is gonna be nearly impossible because it was so long and this truck is so huge, you can barely reach it. We need like a ladder for most of this stuff. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna angle the camera down. I'm gonna show you what I have done so far. Perfect. Change it a little bit. All right. So, this piece right here is a headlight piece. It's an intricate piece. This is a piece that we can't do in one piece with chrome. And I'll explain a few reasons why. So this area here, this area here, and this area here, and in here are going to be high tension areas. There's a lot of stretch going on if we were to try and stretch the film into here and just lay, this, lay a piece glassed right on top, it would be nearly impossible. With other films like a more basic matte black or a, you know gloss white or whatever, we could probably lay into here with with the techniques that I can teach uh, at the workshop, and we did that with the front fender where we did we we laid in to the headlight area and then stretched out. So that would be a technique I could use for this, but we're not going to do that with the chrome because this is actually just way too crazy, and there's going to be way too much tension. So. Our tension points are here, 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 and in here, like I said. What we wanna do is, we wanna put a piece in here so that we can put a relief cut here, and we wanna put a piece here so that we can put a relief cut here so that this flat folds down. This flat will fold down really nicely afterwards and over, actually overlap the seam, which is really important that it, the, the larger piece overlaps the smaller piece for, for most situations. So. Another thing to remember when you have this many pieces of knifeless tape overlapping each other is that we want to know, we want to remember which one is number one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. Really, you can you can label them with a couple of small sticky notes if you want to. That's just going to take a lot of time. Remember what you put down uh, last. So you're going to start with the last one. This piece, I know, we're going to do this one first, and then these two pieces underneath, and then this piece will come afterwards. So there's gonna be one piece here, one piece here, and then one piece over top. I'll have to reapply the knifeless tape for the very last piece. And then we got one piece in here and that's it, we're done. Then we have a big piece over top and we'll do our relief cuts. And that's it guys. So I'm gonna show you a bit of this. I may end up fast forwarding or, or time lapsing some of this. So that way we can speed it up because it's going to take a bit of time. I'd say about 45 minutes to an hour per each piece. Tom has his setup here. And I think that he's going to follow along as we go, as we go and do this. So let me see if I can zoom out a little bit, and we can get both of us in here. Perfect. So I'm going to talk about the first little bit here. Let's get. We want to get this piece cut pretty close to the shape and size that we that we need for that. We don't want to go too huge. So I've got a piece. It's, a, it's big, but it's not terribly large. Tom will cut out a piece as well. And we're gonna get that in there. We're gonna need a bit of heat just to help conform it, because this is thick film, this is a satin chrome. And if you ask any installer, satin chrome is pretty much the thickest film that there is. We do have a Lamborghini coming up in November, and we're doing it in Avery satin chrome. So you're gonna see what 
what that's like as well. It's not, not much different than what we're doing today. So I'm going to give him the heat gun, so he's probably going to need it. Use your squeegee to get into the hard areas because it helps, like the, the hard, sharp corners. And always make sure that we're not adding too much tension. Alright, so we're looking pretty good here on my side. I'm going to go a little bit more in. We want to make sure that we're overlapping all that knifeless tape. That way, when we pull on the hole in the knifeless tape, we're not um, going to mess the vinyl up in any way. It's going to be super important. So always go beyond when you're wrapping. This turn looks like it's turned out even better than mine. Teaching him too no. well here. <laughs> <laughs> so for the knife loose tape, I'm going to, I like to draw it to the end of the film and I like to pull it all at the same time. Now, Tom learned a, a different technique where he kind of snaps it first and then draws it to the end of the, the film and then kind of snaps it again. The string is already broken from the tape, so what you really need to do is just break that string from the tape. I do it all in one shot, and you do it really quick. It's the way you get the cleanest line. But be careful when we remove the excess piece. That way we're not pulling up any of the knifeless tape that's around it. So again, I'm gonna bring it right up to the corner. This is kind of awkward in the corner, it's a little bit harder. Perfect. We'll get the excess tape out of there. There's always two pieces, remember that? Because the string splits the tape. We have another one here right now on this corner. So I bring it right up to the edge. And quick. All right. So you get the idea of how this knifeless tape works. What's that? You can trim it up. So Tom's, he's got, the knife tape doesn't always work great, especially on a thicker film. Yeah. And it, sometimes it doesn't stick or whatever, whatever reason. It's just hard, it's harder for it to cut a thicker film. Yeah, it moved around on me. Yeah, so his, his shifted on him. And he's going to have to just trim it back a little bit. That's fine. You can take your blade to it as long as you're careful and you're, and you're, and you're experienced. Tom's got probably over 100 wraps under his belt as far as full car wraps go. So, you know, he's got experience with the blade. He knows how much pressure to apply. And if you do have to trim something up, then he's, he's comfortable with that. So anything can happen and be ready for that. It's not, it's not a perfect tool, but it does, do a, it does do a great job. All right, so now you get the idea of how that piece goes. The main thing that I was wanting to teach you is that where these tension points are and how you want to or where you want to apply your inlays and your knifeless tape. So to freehand, you could freehand this if you want to, it's just not gonna turn out as nice and there's risk. If you got old parts on your car and you don't want to use knifeless tape, I mean, you got an old car and you don't really care if you scratch it or you're just practicing, cool, whatever, do it however way you like. It's just good, good practice to use knifeless tape when you're drawing out nice lines like this. It makes things a lot more symmetrical and uh, keeps, the, keeps the flow even. So for the next piece, we can either do it's up to him. He can do this piece around the side here, or we can do this side here. This piece will probably need some heat up and, up and around this corner here, but uh, this one should be able to lay in pretty nicely. Uh, also, we will need another strip right in that recess there, which I forgot, so. Let's do a small strip in here. So what I wanna do is put a strip here. Remember, this is now my last piece. So the last piece ends up being the first piece. want them to meet. Watch where the string meets, not where the tape actually meets. It's 
Push that off. Pass that over its arm. So for me, I'm going to do this piece right here. We got actually another strip over there. I'll use that one. Perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Did it move? Okay. Oh yeah, okay. All right, we're good. So I don't need a lot of this. Just kind of, kind of size it up. You know, check it out. So it's always about setting yourself up for success. Super important. Also make sure your table is dust free. So before I draw off this large piece here, I want to just give it one of these. Make sure we're not drawing in any, any contaminants because there is static from the film. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got these wicked shirts and this wicked hat from these guys. <laughs> I'll, I gotta get some of my own stuff, and we've been talking about it. And it's just like they got like this is nice quality stuff, so it's hard to find good quality uh, like branded clothing now. I want to lay this in here the, as much as I can, so I don't want to stretch it. That's the whole idea of our inlays, right? Is we don't want to add tension to the film. So you can see right here how I work this in here with no tension, no heat, no anything. Just laying it in. The harder part will be coming up to the corner here. I'm gonna go over it with heat afterwards, make sure everything's nice and tight. So we go into the into the corner here with our squeegee, that way we know it's nice and tight in there. I'm gonna go over it with the heat gun. Always making sure that the knifeless tape is locked in before we pull that string. Super important. Sorry, that the vinyl is locked in before we pull the string. Yeah, a little bit of stretch down there, but nothing crazy. We reduce that tension by a, by a ton just by doing this inlay. that. Yep. Just checking it out, making sure we got full coverage. I'm going to do a relief cut over here just to ensure that I have full coverage. I don't know if it goes around a little bit more. This is the bottom part of, this is the bottom piece, so this is going to be really visible. I thought it was the top. I thought, I thought it sat like this. It actually sits like this. That piece stuck to there. I'm sorry. Right around the headlight. Yeah, right around the bottom of the headlight. So this long piece goes around the bottom of the headlight. As far as time goes, we're doing pretty well right now. It's going quick. Yeah. Yeah. So I did a relief cut up there also, so I can fold this piece over nice, nicely. See a little bit of air in there still, so I'm gonna get that out. There we go. Perfect. I think I'm just about ready to do the knifeless. So I remember what string was what. And sometimes, like right now, they're crossing over each other and I have, I, I kind of, I might have to guess. I know which one is which. So if you're questioning it, pull it slowly and see which one is which. But you should be able to see through the vinyl a little bit. All right, so again, one of these. Perfect, let's get this piece out of the way. Perfect. Let's cut this back piece off now. Get this out of the way. I'm just gonna cut this piece off flush to the edge on the back side. It's not gonna pull back because we don't have any stretch, right? Right. So 
I just run my blade on the back side of the edge, all right? So we do have to come around here slightly. Do a relief cut, let's add a little bit of heat. Last thing you want to do is cut short, so be thorough. You can see that I'm, I'm tracing my steps and I'm going over my work before I do a cut. Perfect. That's about all I need to do right now. I'll pull off the other piece of knife loose. And Tom's just following right behind me. So again, keep tension here especially. And let's make sure that we remove the extra piece of knifeless tape from underneath here, which I did, perfect. Otherwise, if I don't remove that piece of knifeless and it's laying over this piece of knifeless, it's gonna, it's gonna jam me up right here right now. So this one's gotta be quick. All right. Now we're gonna come around the corner here and that's it. We have these beautiful, nice, even cuts. How's yours looking? Good? Very good. Awesome. This is always the fun stuff when you're leaning over top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Backbreaker. Yeah, yeah. We've already been doing a lot of work on this truck, and you now everyone's back's a little bit tender today. <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah. You can sit down and do this too if you wanted to. It's not, it's, it's not necessary to stand Might up. Save you some pain. Yeah, yeah. Do yourself a favor, right? Yeah. yeah sit down and, and that kind of stuff when you can. You can't be bending over all the time. It's killer, especially as we're getting older here. When you do this every day, standing up, bending over all the time, you get a back like an ox. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm going to cut right in that area there. Just get that out of the way. I'll go over with some heat, clean it up. Shouldn't be cutting towards myself, but I am right now. And so I'm going to just face this down and go over this back edge. So satin chrome is a bit more resilient also. It's thicker, but it's more resilient to damage. When I came down here, I think Tom was expecting it to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, a little bit more difficult to, to install, but I was showing him, obviously we pushed the limits on the film while I've been here. And that's the whole idea is to get a good feel for it and you know, know, its, know its possibilities and potential. Yeah, just in a couple of days of training, it's 100% more confident in doing it. Yeah, so, you know, it helps. It helps to understand and just the tips and, and, and the techniques that I've learned and I've taught myself over the years. It's not necessarily what you're gonna get everywhere else, but you may not get um, what other people offer at my training as well. So, you know, not, not everyone, everyone's training is gonna be a little bit different. Yep. So I'm about ready for that piece right there. So we gotta go for a piece, something like that. We wanna try to reduce the amount of stretch that this has. And I'm gonna cut off some of this, some of this slack I got going on right now. It's a little bit too much. So somewhere around there. I'm using a, a, a skinnier piece. If you used a more, I guess a more flat piece, we, we wouldn't have to stretch the film at all. 
actually. We would just be able to lay it in. Actually, maybe I'll just do that. What's that? Instead of stretching it around, I'm, I'm going to lay it differently. So I'm going to okay. scrap this piece, yep. and we're going to use like a more square piece like this. Yeah. That should work. Just thinking. I'm just thinking about it, all right? So. How's that look? Perfect. It's great. Cool. Awesome. So before we do the, main, the next larger piece, I'm going to recommend doing another piece of knifeless here so we can get a nice straight cut. You don't really have to do one here because we're going to do relief cuts with our blade. It's going to be a bit easier to do relief cuts in these areas with our blades. And if we happen to nick anything, it will be the vinyl. And unfortunately, we would probably have to rewrap it, but not. it's better than nicking the paint. So for me, I would just freehand right in here and do my relief cuts. And I'll do the nice one long knifeless tape right there to mm -hmm. give, me, give myself a nice straight cut. So right now, I'm just kind of looking at how I want to do this. Because if I go here, it's going to cause stretch on the sides. Unless maybe we cut something out. I'm cutting towards myself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who want to comment on it. Yeah. I'm just going to see what I can do with this. So that might help a bit. Yeah, okay. Placement and some tension that should go down. Yeah. So if I lift this upside up right now, yep. I'm gonna come down a little bit more, and I might need a bigger piece, but it's close. I can do a little stretch and get it where I need it. Yep. So. All right, just a little stretch around that corner there. So we're flat on here, which is great, no tension. We're gonna, I'm gonna pull it around a little bit on around the sides. Just because I could have used a bit of a bigger piece, but again, I'm not pulling up from the sides, I'm pulling across. So there's no reason for this to lift. I'm just helping the film conform around this corner. Let's see now. Rolling, I'm still rolling. Battery's gonna die. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it always goes. <laughs> Perfect. Just gonna work it down in there a bit. So the tricky part is hugging this inner edge right here. I wanna make sure that we're over that knife and tape really nice. Looks good. We're gonna do a small relief cut down here. That helps that piece fold over. We're gonna heat it up, get it down nice and tight. Perfect. Let's do the other side now. Let's see if we can do it up. Let it stretch a little bit. Same idea. It's always difficult to do pieces like this, guys. They don't, they're moving around, whatever. It's not always fun. Got Tom helping me here. Yeah. Oh, let's get this back a bit, get a wrinkle there. making sure we're completely wrinkle free and tension free. Let's heat it up, make sure we got no pullback. It's looking good. Now we're gonna lay right into this recess again right here. I'm gonna look at it from the other side because I can see that this one kind of curves around a little bit. Always look ahead. I'm gonna do a relief cut right around here just so I can get that piece in there. It's really important. Okay. Yeah. So 
of that piece. I did a relief cut there. And I, I actually, because I pushed so hard on the film, I ripped down that relief cut and it rips right to the edge if you do it properly, which is perfect. Because you're gonna get the maximum of tension release if you just cut, so I cut just before the corner. And then as I pushed down, it, it was pulling itself. It was ripping itself right up to the edge where I needed it to go. And that's just kind of how it works. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense for those of you who haven't done this yet, but. So I've got a little air bubble on the ends. Just trying to get it out. Right. In that situation, you can do a straight release cut or you can do circle relief really cut yep. in a different situation, right? Yep. It all depends on the situation. Yep. So yeah, it depends on the situation. Like normally you would want to, you wouldn't want your film to tear. So you would do your relief cut in a, in a circular fashion so that way the, the vinyl doesn't run as you pull it because it'll tear. This In this situation I wanted it to tear as I pushed in. It helped bring it really close to that edge. So we're good here. You let go and uh, I'm just going to pull the knife loose. Get this piece off. Now we're going to reapply our two other pieces of knifeless. get a good feel for what we just did here. Still got a piece under here. Make sure that you have a good look to get that extra piece out from underneath because sometimes like that broke off at the corner there so you need it, you need it out so the film sticks. All right cool. It's a matter of trimming off. I should have ran a piece down here and a piece down here. I'm going to freehand it. And that's it. Trim off the back. When we're when we're cutting the film like that, we really just want to score it. So what it, it takes a lot of practice to get used to something like that. See, I haven't even cut right through, so I'm just gonna hold it. There we go. Kind of messed up that corner. I'll fix it up afterwards. Each film has a different thickness, so it takes time to get used to how firm you need to push. And the only way to really know how, how hard you're pushing is to always have a fresh blade, so you have that standard of a sharp cut. I'm just going to finish this off. You guys can't see it. I'm just cutting off the back. As usual, I'm running my blade on the back side, and then I'll finish everything off with a bit of a heat. And Tom can see that I didn't quite cut through it on my side. I'm just going to hold it down and pull it. So scoring the film allows you to pull it right off. That's it. I give him a hand with his. We're going to probably speed this part up. And then we'll get into reapplying the knifeless here and here and finish off the last piece. Are you going to... This is... Yeah, I'm going to trim my back. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I I haven't trimmed I my back. I was looking at it and I was like, okay. No, no, you're fine. I thought I did it right. No, you're, yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so we're, we're back. Tom's got his piece done. Well, we're not done, but we've got our inlays done. <laughs> I've got my inlays done, and we're ready to tackle the large... Piece. So I've laid another strip of knifeless right here, which he still has to do. I put the end of it, so we only have one end to tear from. It's a little bit more, sorry if you can't see that. Uh, I didn't really realize it wasn't on camera. So I've got my inlays done, you can see them here. I've got another piece of knifeless tape right here, all the way down. This is going to be a nice, long, straight cut, so I recommend doing knifeless tape. You can freehand it if you want. Uh, it's just gonna come out a little bit cleaner if you use knifeless on it. So you gotta put, have the end of the knifeless here, obviously, because we can't have the knifeless running under the large piece, because that's gonna be a problem. So it's gonna cause a rip in it. 
So we only have one end to tear from, that's gonna be that end, so hopefully it all works out because it's a little bit more risky. We've got 50% less of a chance uh, in, case we, in case this string breaks, and sometimes it breaks, so especially with a yes, thicker film, yeah, even with a thinner film it breaks, so especially with a thicker film it's more likely to break. Anyways, got it done, we're gonna do the large piece and do our relief cuts. I don't have any other knifeless tape on here, just because it's, it's really awkward to lay knifeless tape here. There, I, there's nowhere to really pull the string around this piece. I can't put it up here, and I can't put it over here, and I can't like run it in a loop because it's just not gonna work. So we're gonna freehand this right around here. And that's that's gonna come out good. I already know it's gonna come out good. We're pros, right? Yes, sir. All right. Let's angle this camera back down and show you what's going on. <clears throat> Let me cut out my piece. Cut, I did pre-cut some vinyl here. I'm just not sure if it's long enough this way or the other way. We're gonna have to go the other way. You stop right at that corner, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. This way. So, cutting a little bit larger, obviously, always. Fun stuff. This is where this really comes out. This is where Start to see something. Yeah, this is where we finish it off. Make sure I don't have any debris or anything kicking around on here. Get some scraps off the table. Yeah. So, for those of you who are wondering how thick this film is, 4.5 mil. This is not a thin <coughs> film. Just yet. Let's do it again. Just kind of want it to drape there, you know. I'm not, I'm not killing it as far as a, like a stretch goes over right over top. We're just gonna let it drape there. And we're gonna work it. We're just gonna work the film as we need to over the most obvious areas first. Show so, these areas. Obviously remembering where we've done inlays and stuff, so super important. So I'm just gonna work this and see what's going on. So I've got my inlay around the bottom of this piece. See now we have a bit of a extra film building up here. What I want to do is I can do a relief cut somewhere around here. I could have looked underneath to make sure that I... You can also look at this. Yeah, I can look at the other piece also. So <clears> this, <throat> I'm gonna just circular, make this a circle here. Turn towards myself again. That's fine. Didn't really turn out that clean. <laughs> <laughs> all good. All right. And let's cut off all this excess here. This is just gonna drive me nuts. All right, so we're going to need to add a bit of heat at some point, and this is probably going to be it right here. We want to throw a bit of heat at it. Just to get this slack out of here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to look at it and just see where we are, and then for here, Mm -hmm. Gotta come to the next edge, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Just right there. So we can work that film in a bit. I'm gonna use a bit of heat.
throw a little post seed in there later. I'm gonna do a relief cut though, right here. And I came short. A little bit, hold on. Came short by like a tiny bit. Okay, 16. Yeah, even. I'll even show you guys. So we do happen to screw things up and that's how that happens. So you can see I've got a thin white line here. My blade didn't touch this, my blade was over here, but I just cut it a little bit too short. And that's, that happens, so we're gonna redo it. So there's a bit of a recess here and it's a bit of an aggressive recess still, but there wasn't really a great, like I could, could have run an uh, inlay on this body line here, but I didn't want to, I wanted it to be more hidden. So we're gonna have to lay into this recess a little bit because this film is thick. We gotta be very careful with it. All right. Let's get the backing paper off. Get this into position. Right, can hold that there. And then I'm gonna already push in there a bit. Even if we don't, we don't have to stretch in there all the way, but it helps mm -hmm. already that little bit. Let's just do a little bit more. Perfect. So now I have no tension in that recess. It's not really throwing off everything else too much right now. So I'm gonna gradually work it in. And I do have another recess over here actually. So we're gonna work it into this recess on top of that. So now what I wanna do is, we need, we need to do some relief cuts. And this time we're gonna do them nice. So my knifeless tape comes to this edge right around here. Just gonna Mix up a bit of this. Need to add a bit of heat so I can hold that down slightly. Find that knifeless tape line. There we go. And go just below it. This doesn't really defeat the purpose of knifeless tape. We're still going to use it. But what I want to do now is I want to cut off a bunch of this slack. I'm going to follow this out. Get it out of the way. On, the foot on that, yeah, there we go. Let's get this, and then let's get this. And how are we doing over here? Let's do. Let's I can see. Bit. I can see under here, which is great. And I can start actually laying in once I do another relief cut right around here. So I have this nice flap. Let's just lay that down for a second. I'm gonna work this area in here next. So I can cut that back a little bit more. Now I can see that line really well. all about reducing tension, guys. It's harder to cut the film also when it's hot, so keep that in mind. But yes, now we can lay it in there without any stretch. Excellent. So I'm gonna finish this piece off and get, get it out of the way. Get the knifeless part done, I mean, that's what I mean to say. So 
and make sure always you're, you're always locking in your vinyl beyond the knifeless tape. As we get to the end, I'm going to push down to make sure that I have a nice, nice even tension on the end there and that that piece doesn't lift because it can. So what I need to do is trim off some of this because I can't see my knifeless tape. Don't cut through your knifeless tape because then you're going to be in big trouble. It's stuck to the vinyl right now. There we go. And we're going to go for it. So let's hope. I, I'm doing this first because if the knifeless if the knifeless breaks, we're going to be in trouble. So as I get to the end, I want to push down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my the string under my finger and keep pulling. Hopefully that did the job. Let me find out right now. Got one more piece under there. Careful at the end. There we go. Got it out. Wicked. So I've got a little bit of air in here. I can see. I want to just get that out. I'm going to pull the vinyl back slightly. Use my squeegee. It'll be better. There we go. Now I'm going to trim off some of that excess in there. So we're going to work out the rest of this stuff afterwards right now. Afterwards right now doesn't really go. <laughs> <laughs> they get the point. They get the point. <laughs> so again, this is why you see you want your table to be clean because you're going to be, your vinyl is going to be touching. So keep that in mind. So I'm just looking at this and seeing how I want to do it. I'm going to gradually work the film over. So I'm going to add a little bit of heat. You see it start to move. I'm not really adding a lot of tension to it. Tom's holding the piece down, which is helping. Get it around as nice as we can. Let's finish that off. Whatever. There we go. Starting to look like something. It's getting there. So what's challenging here now is getting this down as far as we need it. Got to get it up to that knifeless line. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, inlay. I think that's it right there. Real sorry. Pretty sure that's it. <laughs> so this is a gas again. It's kind of a gas. I can see it, but it's difficult to see. see it better. There we go. All right. So I'm going to cut pretty close to that edge because I need full coverage. Let's get that out of there. Should be pretty good. Yes. And then here I'll fix up afterwards. I'll do more relief because I know it goes back a little further and then we'll get the air out. Get this piece out of here. I'm gonna leave some of it because I'll gonna clean it up really nice afterwards. For here, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. We're looking good. 
So we're around that edge, we're around that edge. We're gonna come around this edge. We're gonna try and lay in again a little bit. Just kind of like that. There we go. Now I'm just gonna add heat without even pulling on this. this over without pulling it out of the recess that I just laid into. I'm just going to work that slowly. And I'm already at the next edge. As I push here, it starts to even things out. I don't want to do the whole, I don't want to wrap all down here because this is the easy stuff. We want to get the hard stuff out of the way first. That way we know that we're good because if we mess something up, we're just going to have to redo the whole piece. There's not really going to any corrections that we can make. So it's got a little air in there. I'm just going to push it out. Tom's learning the importance of like laying into things, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to this kind of material. I'm going to contour the film. all this off around here, trim it out. Like I said, this is going to be a freehand. It's not really a good place to put knifeless for this piece here. Now 
now we're going to get into the easy stuff and finish this piece off. So there isn't a whole lot left to do, but all the edges here. And then the trimming. You can see it helps a lot to have the piece anchored. I would be struggling a lot more if I didn't have Tom help me out right now. More or less just showing you where you would do your inlays for the knifeless tape so you can have a cleaner finished product and make your life a little bit easier on top of that. It's still difficult, though this film is difficult because it's thicker, but you can get the idea on the knifeless tape. So in here we have our inlay. In here we have an inlay. Actually, I should just trim that out so you can see. I do have to go over with heat and finish up the edges and stuff, but you can get a good idea on what we did. So yes, we have an inlay in here. And then we have the inlay in there, which is, which is great, but we needed that in there. So, touch it up a bit. And so you guys can see, it helps to have, do the inlays first, especially there. You don't really see that edge. Once we clean it up, you're not going to see it. This piece has to fold over and then we're going to trim it all out and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. Uh, we're going to show you the end of this truck. We're going to finish it today. And that's it. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.